Good morning, what ecstatic performances right there. That's exactly what we do on Artistic Thursday. And now on to our second part, our second segment, Case and Tales with me, of course, and Nixie. So today is such a beautiful day because again, we're doing the international cuisines. And right here in the heart of Nairobi CBD, we are at Bobo's restaurant and we're going to be dissecting the Turkish culture. Are you excited? Because I'm very excited. So, here's the thing. A lot of people in Turkey are known for their bread. But what else are they known for? Come, let's find out. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm great. What's your name? I'm um, Chef Sunday. Chef Sunday. I love it. My name is Nixi. Um, thank you so much for having us. This is Taste and Tell. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. So, what are we making today? Uh, today, we're going to make a... Uh, Turkish bread called uh, Turkey facts and statistics. The location of Turkey is in the southeastern Europe and southwestern Asia. That portion of Turkey west of the Bosporus is geographically part of Europe, bordering the Black Sea between Bulgaria and Georgia, and bordering the Aegean Sea and the Mediterranean Sea between Greece and Syria. The capital city of Turkey is Ankara. The population of Turkey is about 82 plus million people. And the ethnic makeup is estimated to be 80% Turkish and 20% Kurdish. So this is uh, my assistant chef. Hello, hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Cosmos. Okay. That's an easy name than Sunday. No, Sunday is easy. Yeah. Just think of Sunday then. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> like a mini Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, first of all, what is this machine called? It's, it's called that? Doshita. Okay. It's a doshita. Doshita? Yeah. yeah. Instead of rolling with uh, your hand, uh -huh. you just put it there, then it's Oh, like then it gives you doshits. Yeah, and uh, I nicely level them. Uh, okay. So I actually don't need to do the whole rolling pin thing. No, because when you are too busy, you cannot start rolling. Yeah, it's so too much work. Is, uh, this one is much faster. Hmm, I've learned something new today. Yeah. So what are normally the ingredients of this bread? For the this dough? One, uh -huh. It's only, uh, it's basically yeast, uh, flour, uh -huh. uh, a bit of salt, a bit of sugar, and uh, butter, and water. Only. How different is it from the chapati dough? Uh, mostly the aging. It, the uh, it's left to age a bit. Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh. It's left to age a bit so that you can, find, you can taste that uh, the difference between the normal bread and the uh, uh -huh. Oh, after already mixing in the ingredients, yeah. you wait for it to stay. For how many days exactly? Uh, one day or overnight. Oh, and okay. Not bad. Yeah. So right now we are making uh, something called uh, duru. Duru means uh, mm -hmm. a Turkish bread, mm -hmm. like a wrap. Uh -huh. It's basically Arab, but now the Turk, the Turkey people they call it Durum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have a lot of uh, Turkish clients coming in? Yeah, but not too much. But also the Africans, they uh -huh. are, call, they, are, they want to try the Turkish. Yeah, they just want to explore. Yeah. Now uh, we are going to break one, uh -huh. so that we can make uh, the wrap. Yeah. So, so we make it at a high temperature because. It only takes about five minutes. Oh. It doesn't take too much time. Oh, wow, that's fast. Yeah. So our, our ovens they have to be very hot, to a degree of uh, 220. That looks like a proper incinerator. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So this is our traditional spatula that you use to insert. Oh. And okay. Yeah. It's, it's kind of convenient, yeah. Very. So for this bread, yeah? yeah, is it that the Turkish people have it? Is there a particular time when they have it during a certain ceremony, probably at a certain time during the day, or is something that we can have during the morning, the, the lunch, dinner time? No, for them they can take bread any time of the day. Uh -huh. It's it's not a particular time though at any time. Mm -hmm. Now you see now oh, wow. how it comes. Oh wow, that's beautiful. It, even, it might even take uh, less than uh, five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, so how do you read it? Ready? That's it? Yeah. Because it's very thin. <gasps> oh, okay. That was yeah. fast. Yeah. You can feel the texture. Yeah, it's so soft. Yeah. So 
Turkish society and culture. The Islam. Islam is the religion of the majority of Turks, although the state is fiercely secular. Islam emanated from what is today Saudi Arabia. The Prophet Muhammad is seen as the last of God's emissaries, following in the footsteps of Jesus, Moses, Abraham, etc., to bring revelation to mankind. He was distinguished with bringing a message for the whole of mankind rather than just to a certain peoples. As Moses brought the Torah and Jesus the Bible, Muhammad brought the last book, the Quran. The Quran and the actions of the Prophet, the Sunnah, are used as the basis for all guidance in the religion. Among certain obligations for Muslims are to pray five times a day, at dawn, noon, afternoon, sunset and evening. The exact time is listed in the local newspaper each day. Friday is a Muslim holiday, although this is not practiced in Turkey. However, most males will attend the congregational afternoon prayer. During the holy month of Ramadan, all Muslims must fast from dawn to dusk. Fasting includes no eating, drinking, cigarette smoking, or gum chewing. Our donor. The donor is co it consists of uh, mostly lamb uh -huh. and uh, beef. Yeah. How do we get them to combine? They are grinded together? Yeah, they are mixed together okay. and with the, the, some Turkish spices, they are mixed together then we mix. Yeah. After mixing, uh, we, we make them like a form of a party, mm -hmm. then we stack them together, then we freeze it. Oh, so by that, hand, yeah? yeah. So then we freeze it, uh -huh. after freezing, we have, uh, you, you will obtain this shape. So, how, for how long does it have to cook? Um, on low heat, it can, it can be here for even a day, just rounding cooking, but on a very low heat. Okay, yeah. I do. wait, hold up. No. A whole day? No, not a whole day, uh -huh. basically from uh, 12 up to around uh, 4 o'clock or 5. Mm -hmm. yeah. How's your journey been as a chef? Two years is a long time, first of all. The consistency, the growth to you doing international cuisines, that's a big deal. How's your journey been so far? Actually, for me, my passion for cooking started back in uh, while I was in high school. My you're one of the lucky few that realized your dreams in high school. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, I, my, my mom used to work in Italy, so at times when, oh. I, when I was sick, I went to Italy, I saw those chefs wearing those big hats. I said, nah, I want to also become a chef. Mm -hmm. I, want to, I also want to be putting on that big hat and cook uh, some nice food. Uh -huh. yeah, so that's where my journey started from. What inspires you every day to keep at it? Uh, what inspires me, once our customers we, uh, they are satisfied, they enjoy our food, mm -hmm. I'm also satisfied with what I've done. I know I've done a, well, a good job. Mm -hmm. I know my career is also in a better place. Yeah. And uh, there's also room for more, more improvements. Mm -hmm. yeah. So basically your, your biggest achievement normally is seeing a client very happy. Yeah. And also, at one time, I also have, want to have my own restaurant. Mm -hmm. But currently, I, I, I do hot kitchen, plus I also have a small bakery at home. I oh, have a chef also. that's really nice. Uh, Where can people find your services, your cakes? Actually, on my Facebook page, it's uh, Cakes by Sunday, on Instagram. Cakes also. Spice? Sunday. Cakes by Sunday, yeah. Oh, Cakes by Sunday, uh, okay. Even on Instagram, Cakes by Sunday. Uh -huh. yeah. Did you go to any uni to do hospitality management? Yeah, so after my high school, I uh -huh. joined uh, Kenya Tari College okay. back in 2011 uh -huh. and I graduated in 2013. 
Yeah, so from there is when I started my journey up to now. Mm. I have uh, six years working experience. Etiquette and customs in Turkey. Meeting and greeting etiquette. When meeting, shake hands firmly. When departing, it is not always customary to shake hands, although it is practiced occasionally. Friends and relations would greet each other with either one or two kisses on the cheek. Elders are always respected by kissing their right hand, then placing the forehead onto the hand. When entering a room, if you're not automatically met by someone, greet the most elderly or most senior first. At social occasions, greet the person closest to you, then work your way around the room or table anti-clockwise. I really want to understand. First of all, what's the name of this? Uh, it's more of an espresso. It's an, like an espresso? It, no, it's like a um, distiller. It, uh, no, it's like a brewer. It brews a... Uh, oh, tea. Yeah. So we put uh, tea leaves inside uh -huh. and a bit of water. Uh -huh. Now we just get the drops, the small drops. Uh -huh. It doesn't come out too much. Yeah. Yeah, and it's very calm. You know, here is, here is the most interesting thing about the Turkish people. Most people tend to think that they love coffee, but really it's tea that they are, I don't want to say addicted to, but it's their, it's their way of life, you yeah. know? And uh, in particular, they make tea, very black tea, yeah. and uh, they spice it up sometimes. No, more basi no basically it's mm -hmm. only black tea. The black tea. There's no and spice, there's no... Uh, do you use particular tea leaves or it's get to the supermarket, whatever tea leaves you can find? No, you use the finest ones. The, the, the finest one, the first quality, the uh, grape. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that you can get a very strong mm -hmm. and aromatic uh, yeah. tea. And looking back into the Turkish culture, they normally like to use these sort of shape glasses. It's like a tulip shaped glass. Yeah. Why do they use this? Actually, it's, it's their culture. It's just the way we can use a, a, a cup, a, this cup for latte or for mm -hmm. tea. That's how they prefer it. And it's small because it's like they take it after their meals. Oh. It's more of a dessert. Oh. Yeah, because I know desserts they are taken after. After meal, meal. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Would you want to take me through the process of this? Uh, yeah. Of yeah, sure. brewing my own tea? So basically, uh -huh. we just press this one. Uh -huh. We get like the small drops coming. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wait, when did we put the tea leaves? The tea leaves, they are already inside. It's just, it's a continuous process brewing uh -huh. pole pole. Now we just add uh, some water. Mm -hmm. Right there. Yeah. One other thing, that yeah. is really hot. Yeah. How come this glass doesn't break? No, actually, it's uh, th th that's what that's what it's made of. It uh, it's made to withstand the heat of the hot water because the tea is also hot. Turkish food. It is said that three major kinds of cuisine exist in the world: Turkish, Chinese, and French. Fully justifying its reputation, Turkish cuisine is always a pleasant surprise of the visitor. This one doesn't have yogurt. Oh yeah. yeah so this, this which one is this one? This one is called the uh, durum. The durum. Yeah. Okay. It's just basically a wrap, but for the Turkish they call it durum. Okay. Yeah. And um, where are we ha gonna have the yogurt? For the yogurt. The it's uh, the iskender. The iskender, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So should I wrap it? Yeah. Now try it wrap. So the uh -huh. paper helps you not to become uh, messy or yeah. so. not to become messy. Yeah. So we are going to do the same on this. Yeah. The same during bread. Yeah, this one, now we are going to do a tombic. Okay. This one is a tombic. Okay. Oh, you are making the iskender bread, yeah? Okay. You got it? Almost. Now for this one, we slice our bread. This one is a bit hard though. Yeah. 
we just make it sort a bit. Yeah. We just make like a pocket, mm. then we stuff inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just. Our grill is hot. We just uh, make it hot a bit. Uh huh. And then you can serve it. Instead of my proving, it makes the bread become yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. You know what that bread reminds me of? Yeah. Um, in high school, we used to have this thing where you you drill a hole through a mandazi <laughs> and you drop a samosa in yeah, there. Yeah, you drop some. Yeah? yeah? Did you ever do that? Yeah, of course I did. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing, yeah? It's a thing. That was the best thing ever. <laughs> so for the tombic, uh -huh. it's a... Now this one uses a different bread. This okay. one is a wrap, this one is a pita bread. Uh -huh. Yeah. So some lettuce. You just stuck it yeah. in there. Yeah. Just cut into small pieces. Isn't it better to mix all the ingredients together? No, I mean, you can find maybe a, a customer doesn't want uh, lettuce or uh, tomatoes uh -huh. or so when you mix it, it will be hard to start removing. Yeah. yeah. So it, you just put one by one. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Now for the meat. No, because I'm thinking, yeah. if you take a bite from this other side, mm -hmm. and then I, I bite through lachas and bread alone, yeah. it would be better if I, if I came and told you, meat for me this, 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 and this, crush them together, and then put them in. Actually, it's customer's choice. It's customer's choice. Yeah. Can I just place it like this? Ah, this is so cute. This is so nice. Yeah. This is so good, honestly. I didn't expect it to be this nice. You know, when someone thinks of lamb, they say, nah, that smell. But mm -hmm. Yeah, even the oil of like, mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll let my chef uh, help me in the cutting mm -hmm. as we continue. Now we can make the iskanda. Yeah. Now uh, let me just get my butter. For the iskanda, uh, it's served with the butter. The also. butter. Yeah. And this is where we use the yogurt. Yes. Now this one is the iskanda bread. Mm -hmm. It's a bit different from the tombik one. Is it, is it slightly different? Yeah. Though? Slightly different. Is it the whole? Yeah. Uh. yeah. And the texture also. Oh, and the texture. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is softer. Yeah. No, but I feel like when it goes cold, it's just gonna end up being very crunchy. Not really. Not really? Now, for this one, we slice it. Ah, uh, okay. Into small cubes. Uh huh. Okay, I could help you now. Now, then, cut it into small yeah. cubes. No. Well, this bread is really hot. Since I don't want to do all the work. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just finish. It's really hot. <laughs> mm. So after that, we just place it on top of this. Warm bread is like the best thing ever, yeah? Yeah. It's really good. Just a bit of sauce to make the bread a bit, uh, not to be too... Hard? Yeah. Actually for their foods, they are just simple. There's no too much decorations, no yeah. too much garnishes. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Just put, uh, put on food. Oh, we don't have to slice the sauce into cubes? No, no. These ones, we just place them on top. Yeah. yeah. Then it's okay. Yes, please. And they, has, they have to be cut a bit longer so that you just place them uh, on top. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, something like this. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you just place Perfect them. puzzle. Yeah. 
Now when it bubbles like this, mm -hmm. it just uh, oh, it's not so good. Just one top. Then we do our yogurt. For our yogurt, we put it on the side. How do we eat this with our hands? Or with the funky way? You can eat it with a fork. Uh -huh. Fork and a steak knife with your hand. Whichever goes for you. We put the sliced tomatoes from. Thank you so much. Thank you. The table has been served. We are ready to eat the fruit of our labor. Okay. <laughs> so we have the iskender here. Yeah. And then we have the, the duru. duru. Yeah. And then we have the tommy. Tommy. Yes. Yeah. And we're gonna have some Turkish tea. Actually, I figured yeah. the Turkish tea is called rice tea. Rice tea. Because it's from a province in uh, Turkey called rice. Uh, yeah. And now this is the tombe. Yes, it's a little bit. Oh. For this one, uh, okay. let, me, let me start with this one. You could start there. For me, I can just take a bite, but let me just cut it. Uh -huh. I can just hold it and take a bite, oh, yeah? but let me just cut it. No, if you do that, you might not end up sharing <laughs> the same meal. How is it? I understand why we don't need to have flavored yogurt. Yeah. It will taste funny, now. Definitely. This is a good combination. Yeah. This is really nice. Let me try to get to you. Yeah. You can add some sugar. Oh, you don't do sugar? Yeah. Oh. Fortunately, I don't do sugar. It's okay, no problem. I guess I was also not do sugar for today if you want Oh, yeah? <laughs> Are you sure this is the decision you want to make in your life? All of us will be diabetic today. Oh, yeah? I guess you can feel uh, the, um, like the, the aroma also. Yeah. yeah. It's so natural. It's really nice. This yeah. is something I can make in my house. Everything else, not so much. I don't have none of the machines yeah. you have. Yeah. I'd have to come here. Do you do deliveries? Yeah, we do. Ah, okay. We have deliveries. You, you're on the app or on social media? Yeah, we're on social media also. Mm -hmm. Bobo's Bistro. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so you've had it from Sunday. You know where to find him. This has been really amazing. Bobo's Restaurant, thank you so much for having us. So thank you so much to our audience again. It has been lovely to have you as our, as our viewers. Rather, Remember you can use the hashtag Artistic Thursday, hashtag Tasting Tales, and hashtag Katie and Life and Style. Suggest where you want us to go next. Suggest what cuisines you want to see us try. Maybe next time I could have a guest host from the audience. Until next Thursday, Chef Sunday, thank you so much. Bobo's Restaurant in Nairobi CBD, thank you so much. Bye.